Hi, this is Nagananda Gurudwaku, a solicitor in England and Wales based in Sri Lanka. Address you particularly the international trade agencies, particularly the International Chamber of Commerce, its local chapter, and the International Trading Community. The very purpose of this talk is to educate you about the breakdown of rule of law in the border agency of the Republic of Sri Lanka, that is the Customs Department. You all are well aware that international trade always, those who engage in that trade, always expect the border agency, agency to enforce the rule of law. What I am going to tell you, reveal you about an incident where the border agency has absolutely failed. This is a case where a shipment of three containers of fabric has come to Sri Lanka from India, Gujarat, India. The payment method, the parties have agreed the deep on DP terms. So you know the DP means until the payment is made, the documents cannot be collected. Without the document, you can't collect the delivery order from the shipping line. In this particular case, the consignee has not collected the DO on payment of the value, which is about 220,000 US dollars. Who is to be blamed? Now the consignee, now he wanted to buy these, the, buy the goods at the Ports Authority auction. The border, the border agency, the custom department is required by law in a, in a situation, in a case of this nature to allow the reshipment provided the conditions as set out in the customs ordinance are met. The conditions are the application for reshipment is made within a matter of one year. The title to the goods has not been changed and the goods can be easily identified. These goods have not, be, not even been, the containers have not, not even been opened for inspection. Shipment has landed here in August last year and the shipper has tried his best to negotiate with the local buyer to purchase the goods on and buy the goods and collect the goods on payment of the value which is uh, running into about 220,000 US dollars. Yet the concern has failed. So therefore, the shipper has made a request. He is from Gujarat, India to the customs administration to allow the reshipment on payment of the one tenth of the duty, that is the statutory requirement. He has to pay the one tenth of the, uh, I mean, the customs levies, and on top of that, the damages now, now it is in the region of about forty thousand rupees, and also the shipping charges. A request for reshipment has been made in October last year. You know the customs department in in the Republic of Sri Lanka. This is for the information of my local. Uh, business, the uh, trade chamber, it comes under the purview of the Minister of Finance, that is Rani Likum Singh. The department has absolutely failed to respect the rule of law and, and, and the customs is well aware. It is under duty to facilitate the international trade. Here, the department has absolutely failed. 
from August, now it is August, September, October, November, December, now it is month of March, eight months. Who's to be blamed? Why the Director General of Customs not taking any action? Some say the consignee is, is not allowing the reshipment because he has some political contacts and he wanted to buy the shipment at customs auction. How far we as a nation can move forward in a situation like this? This is just the customs front. Other fronts also, the situation is the same. So I wanted to bring it to the notice of the international community. International Trade of Commerce, the Chamber of Commerce and its local chamber to take this matter very seriously. This is not an easy game. The value of the shipment is about 220,000 US dollars. You can contact me. I will publish my number. And if you require any further information on this, the shippers in particular, all the BLs and everything, I will make it available to you because I am very concerned about the pathetic situation in this country. Thank you.